So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. No doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. On whose authority? I have no records of that. You're supposed to be in a holding cell. What? No one sees the president except Colonel Autumn. Stand right there while I check this out. Uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry to bomb. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president. You're doing speaking. quite well for yourself. I've invited our you guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not of progress. Thank you for your cooperation.
Attention! This is Colonel Autumn. You are are hereby ordered to ignore the president's previous directive. Retreating. Fall back. Fall back. Go, go, go. to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. What any good politician wants, your continued trust and support. In your case, however, I have more specific things to ask of you, if you'll hear me out. 
Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. I was hoping you'd see it my way. If the water purifier can be activated, it can be used to distribute toxins that will eliminate any mutated creatures upon ingestion. The longer it runs, the cleaner the world becomes. I need you to see that it starts running and that the necessary modification is made. In front of you is a vial of modified FEV virus based on schematics of the purifier controls can be inserted directly into the console. Then enter the code necessary to start the purifier. The automated systems will take care of the rest. That's all you need to do. It's very simple. I understand. It's an unusual request. One I wouldn't make if it weren't of the utmost importance. Please understand that I cannot allow you... And why would I do that, when I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the Wasteland? What alternative would you suggest? Without the Enclave, what will the world do? Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Autumn, however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make.
I see I found you at last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. <laughs> oh, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Ugh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. I see. And where is this virus now? Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? Take care of yourself. No, I, I mean... Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, 
You've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Hurry it up! Every minute you take is one more that we can't afford to spend. 